Welcome to a non-existent car show. Woo! Victory Royale with a pickaxe! Google kicking off its annual I.O. Developers Conference in just over an hour, expected to tout new AI features. Ah, crap, I forgot to add something. Where were you on the night of the bubble bath? Gemini completed Pokemon Blue. So I went to the zoo the other day. Lord! I named him Earl. He follows me everywhere and farts in his sleep. Just like my first husband. Oh, no. Well, if there was a good thing to take from this, then it's that this was expected. When you realize how much computational power is being put into these AI data centers and just how much energy they are using to generate these videos and sounds, this is not surprising at all. My first video for this channel was a look at the rising prices for graphics cards. And one of the reasons why we are seeing them get more expensive is because they are being used for AI. Also tariffs. When I made the video, they were more or less an elephant in the room, but I mean, let's be honest, they were a huge, campaign promise. NVIDIA in particular is making massive amounts of money selling their chips to companies like Meta and OpenAI. Google's also a buyer, although they've announced they're developing their own proprietary CPU chips. No idea if those are powering VO3. So yeah, the quality of the chips are better and therefore they're producing better videos. That itself though is not the issue. What is the issue is that polished turds still produce a rank scent. <laughs> And it ain't fresh roses. 404 Media shared this interesting look at how VO3 generates a specific prompt involving a comedian sharing a joke. So I went to the zoo the other day, and all they had was one dog. It was a Shih Tzu. <laughs> What's funny is that it was often giving Sammy Good joke. I, I went, went to the zoo, zoo the other day. day. There was only and one dog. It only dog. had one dog. It was, it a, was Shih a Shih Tzu. I went. I went. I went. I, 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 I that or a gibberish. So then for Ilgium. So this guy walks into a library. <laughs> now that's funny. Plus with the reports coming out that AI companies are experiencing a lot of diminishing returns. I wonder if this is the best it's probably gonna get. Look, it's impressive that it's generating video, audio, music, all shebang. But like I said earlier, the amount of processing power, electricity, and really money needed to just improve even 5% is astronomically high. Part of me is wondering if it's just gonna plateau pretty soon. I mean, I could be wrong, but that's at least where I see it going. And I do think there are some ways that these AI videos can be used. I don't know if VO3 is any good at this, but OpenAI Sora is reportedly good at creating abstract clips that would be difficult for anyone to create normally. Plus, Google has collaborated with Darren Aronofsky's production company called Primordial Soup and has played a part in generating imagery for their short film Ancestra. When it comes down to it, it's just a tool. Last time I checked, the quality of the sword is determined by the talent of the blacksmith. Yes, I've been playing a lot of Kingdom Come Deliverance too. God, that game is so much fun. Oh, fuck it off. This damn buck. Plus there's a $250 paywall. That should cut the crap down by at least 95%. But even then, it still leaves a lot of crap. <laughs> it's like what that one guy says, you know, the one that's really obsessed with papers. What a time to be alive. Yay. Yeah. If you really want to help me make these videos more sustainable, please support me on Patreon. And as a Patreon exclusive, I decided to talk about some of these AI video trailers that are based in the 1950s. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care.